weakness!
under attack! We gotta get home before they kill everybody! Come on! There was this priest that used to come around the orphanage, Father Alonzo. Yeah, 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 I know what you're thinking, and it ain't that kind of story. Anyway, must have been about a thousand years old or something, real fire and brimstone type of guy. Used to tell us kids that hell wasn't some bullshit story they made up to keep us in line. It was fucking real. A fucked up place, where all the deadbeats, hookers, dealers, and junkies all ended up. And if we weren't careful, that's exactly where we were gonna go. Fuck. If only it were that easy. Just how we like it! Uh. 
Jesus am I glad to see you. These guys came in like a bunch of fucking cockroaches. They're out of their minds. And you're not? I'm still alive, ain't I? More than can be said for these limp dick fucks when I'm done with them. You better head upstairs, boss. I got you covered down here. I ain't bleeding that bad. The elevator's coming down. Don't let anyone out of here, Jackie! Jackie, it's me, Vinny! Don't shoot! Jesus Christ, boss. It's a real shit show up there. Your Aunt Sarah's hiding out in your panic room. We gotta get up there. Right now! You guys get upstairs. I'll hold the fort down here. Hey, Jackie! Best day of the week so far! The colonies, colonies in the country, you don't even have to know what the color is, just know that it, 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 it oh, there's air in some <laughs> Jackie! Thank Christ you made it back here! What's well, some serious shit, man? Johnny, talk to me. What am I up against here? The seal on the envelope you found on Swifty? It belongs to the Brotherhood. The who? They were the original keepers of the darkness, Jackie! The Brotherhood is the holy fucking grail of secret societies! They're led by a guy named Victor, a high priest, royalty to them. He's not a good person, understand? Yeah, I met that asshole. He came after me with some kind of... thing. He was sucking the darkness out of me. There's only one thing that can do that. The Siphon of the Angelus! Jesus! I thought that thing was lost for good! Hoped it was lost for good! What the fuck is it? It's the device the Brotherhood used to cage the darkness. It's an instrument of light. It was made thousands of years ago. Some say it was forged by the Angelus itself. It's the only thing that can contain dark essence. Well, um, besides, besides you. It's powerful, Jackie, and dangerous. If they found it, that's bad. Really bad. If the Brotherhood gets a hold of the darkness, uh, 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 who knows? But I'm sure it's not good. All right, all right. I get the picture. Look, stay put. I'm gonna put these fucks out of their misery. Jackie! Holy Christ, am I glad to see you. We never saw these guys coming. They got into the damn kitchen! Boss! Who the fuck are these guys? They don't look like nobody I ever seen before. Jackie, we gotta get you up to your Aunt Sarah. And hey, watch yourself out there. You too, Vinny. You be careful. I think they're all gone. Come on, let's do this.
upstairs in your bedroom, locked in your panic room. They're trying to break through the door. We gotta move now. Jack, you gotta get to your Aunt Sarah. Jackie, wake up. Everything's okay. <clears throat> there you go. You're out of it now. You fell out of the bed. Vinny? I, I don't understand what's happening. Is this... Is this hell? Okay, that's a new one. This is the darkness, isn't it? It's some kind of trick. Come on, Jackie, don't start talking about that stuff again, okay? The darkness isn't real. It's just in your mind. What? I'm sorry, but I know you get confused by all this. 
These bad dreams are a part of being sick. You gotta help us get you well again. I'll tell you what. You go by the dispensary before breakfast and I'll tell the doc you had a good night. They're rewriting us all. Even you. I'm not even supposed to be here. Just calm down, Mr. Walker. What the fuck is happening to me? I'm concerned he's regressed into a more complex cognitive disorder. His thoughts are becoming extremely disordered. So All right, so let me get this straight. He, he says he lives in a big man. I think he's the one. He's not the one. Not the, one. one. the eyes are too close together. Over here, Jack. Dr. James Jimmy. is waiting, Jack. Jackie, come on in. I'd hoped I'd see you this morning. Please, have a seat. Now I know this ain't real. <laughs> no fucking way you're a doctor. I've heard from your nurse that you're getting worried about your medication again. Do you understand why you take the medicine, Jack? I'm not crazy. This is just an illusion. If you know it's an illusion, you could make it go away. But we've had this discussion before. You can't make it go away. Because it is not an illusion. Don't you see what's happening, Jimmy? The darkness is inside our heads! You mean the voice you hear, Jackie? The one that makes you do bad things? Does that seem reasonable to you? Look, I'm not gonna skirt around the issue any longer. Dr. Vic and I are concerned that you're making up new rules as you go along. Mafia fiction's fine for television, but not for real life. You're not the head of a crime family, Jackie. You're a patient in this institution, and we're trying to help you get well. There is something wrong with this place. You are not keeping okay, me here. Jackie, let's just stay chill. Dr. James is trying to help you. Eddie, shut the fuck up! Jackie, I know you're upset, but I'd like you to use your quiet voice now. I no longer wish to speak to your darkness voice. Fine. Let me out of here. I gotta take a walk. All right. Nobody's stopping you. Edward, take him to see Nurse Jenny. Come on, Jackie. Just try to stay calm, Jackie. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, Doc. Let's go see Jenny, Jackie. Jackie, I'm so glad you're back on your med cycle. It's a very positive sign. Dr. Vic's been asking me about your progress. He's very concerned for you. We all are. Jenny, I don't know what this place is, but I'm gonna get us out of Why here. Why would I want to get out of here, Jackie? I work here. I'm here to help you. No. No, not you two. Not you two! What the fuck is happening? Just stay calm, Jackie. It's going to be alright. Now, last time we talked, you were telling me about the delusions you've been having. You said you were the head of a mob family, and that your house was... under attack by men trying to steal the darkness from that you? That wasn't a delusion. That just happened. I know it did. I know it feels real, Jackie, but it's... Jenny, you gotta listen to me. I think this might be hell, a and we're trapped here. I'm gonna get us out. I can see why it seems like hell to you sometimes, but it's just a hospital. I want you to trust me. Everyone here is trying to help you. I don't know why this is happening, Jenny. You were dead. I saw you die. We talked about this, remember? 
When you don't take your medicine, you have a hard time separating fiction from reality. You get a lot of bad dreams when your serotonin's out of whack. It makes you think you're remembering things that never happened. But my family, my, my friends, the darkness. Jackie, none of this is real. I'll work out a schedule with Dr. Vic. Play your cards right and we can see a lot of each other, okay? Jackie, you okay? My schedule? What? Jenny, you don't understand. You're in real trouble. We both are. We're getting out of here. Now! Jackie, whoa, no. whoa, big guy. Code white! <clears throat> Easy, Jackie. <clears throat> Let go oh, of me! God. Come on! You were ah. doing All right, so here we go. Good. Easy, easy. Calm down, Jackie. We're not gonna hurt you. Keep him still. Geronimo! Johnny, cut it out! Go. Johnny, what Two. the hell are you doing? Sweet. Get him off, would you please? Run, Jackie! Get, Get back, back here, Jackie! Head for the bunker! He must Tell have Eva some I've problems. He's fast. He's running for the door! Jackie, get Boy, back here! This way. There's nothing out there for you! See, as long as the bloodline continues, the darkness will always have a new host. Found that out my fifth birthday. Woke up in the middle of the night with my dad, just sitting on my bed, hovering over me. Butcher knife in his hand. <laughs> Still not really sure if the crazy fuck was thinking of putting me out of my misery, or making sure no one else would take his place. Make it stop, Jackie. Jackie, Jesus. I can't believe it, you're back. You said the darkness won't let you die, but I, I never believed you. It took it four days to repair you after you got shot in the face. Oh, I'm losing my fucking mind. Look, Jackie, I don't uh, know how to tell you this, but uh, they arranged the funeral for your Aunt Sarah today. God damn it. God damn it. It's my fault. It's my fault they killed her. It was that prick Bragg. After he shot you, your Aunt Sarah, he, uh, uh Jackie, uh, I'm so sorry. Jesus. It's all going to shit. Your boys beat the Brotherhood back. Chased them out of here. But you know that wasn't the last of them, right? We can't let the Brotherhood take the darkness, Jackie. That's not gonna happen. The darkness. The darkness has Jenny's soul. And it wants these Brotherhood jack-offs dead and the siphon for itself. If I don't play ball, it says it'll keep her forever. Jackie, that siphon in the darkness's hands, it's not good. It's too powerful. With the siphon, it could overwhelm you. Take control completely. I don't have a choice. I won't let it hurt Jenny. Jackie, let's uh, let's take a step back here, okay? Let's let's think about this. So, what if? What if she isn't even real? The darkness plays tricks on you, huh? It makes you see things. No, it's her. I know it. I feel it. So... What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go to my Aunt Sarah's funeral. Then I'm gonna go kill a lot of people. Be careful, Jackie. The Brotherhood will stop at nothing to get the darkness. Nothing! You go about your day. I'll find out what I can. Hey, good to see you back on your feet, boss. Someone's gonna pay out their ass for this, Jackie. You just point the way. <sighs> Jackie. Hey, Jackie. Hey, look, boss. Once you got popped, we... Got the rest of those fucking guys out of here before they could drag you off, but... We lost a lot of good guys. Eddie, you gotta know I'm sorry. Ah, uh, it shouldn't have gone down like this, boss. We didn't do nothing. He was gonna start taking it easy, spend more time on that stupid boat of his. <laughs> Just ain't right. I'm gonna find those assholes, and I'm gonna kill every one of them. 
You better. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, boss. I, I don't mean no disrespect. I just... He was gonna start taking it easy, you know? I know, Eddie. I'm sorry. Give my best to your wife, all right? Hey, wait, what's up? Jackie? Say hi to everyone for Jackie, me. Jackie, boy, are you a sight for sore eyes. Okay. Let's get up this. Jackie, you don't want to go up there, kid. Nothing you need to see. Ah, oh, fuck, Jimmy. This is all my fault. Occupational hazard, son. I'm just... I'm just so sorry about your aunt. She was one tough broad, you know. Funeral is today. We should get down there soon. Yeah. Let's go. Boss? We're ready to head to the cemetery. We're saving the way Boss, we're ready to head to the cemetery. Just say the word and we're gone. Time to go say goodbye to Aunt Sarah, Vinny. You go ahead. I'll make sure the boys are ready for you when you get there. When I was 18, running numbers for my cocksucking Uncle Paulie, I used to kill time at Rocco's. Real shithole of a bar. But the waitress? Biggest tits you ever seen. I'm pissed drunk this one time, and I hear someone call my name. Next thing I know, five goons are stomping my head in. Fucking assholes put me in a hospital for a week. Two people sat with me the whole time. Jenny and my Aunt Sarah. My last day there, when I'm finally healed up, Aunt Sarah leans in, slips me a piece of paper. It's got the names and addresses of the assholes who put me in there. One look and I got the lesson. I wasn't gonna make the same mistake those fuckers did. Jackie. None of this is real. Here you go, Jackie. Come on, Jackie. Let's you and me head up. The church put on a beautiful service. Yeah, they did it right, didn't they, Vinny? You bet. Top shelf all the way. Classy. Little long, but you know us Catholics like to talk. You know, boss, we're, we're all thrilled that you, uh, you, know, you got your thing back, but, uh, you know, some of the boys are thinking maybe this hit has something to do with that, and, you know, well, no disrespect, but... Just spit it out, Vin. You know that ain't no one's gonna back you up more than me, Jackie. Just give the boys something to go on, okay? Well, not for nothing. You spent four days in the back room with that crazy prick Johnny when by rights you should have been dead. We just want to know what we're up against here, you know? Let's go up. People are gonna be glad to see you back in one piece, boss. I tell you, it wouldn't have been the same seeing your Aunt Sarah off without the old Jackie Estacado. Sorry for your loss, Jackie. That's a crazy fucking order to rings and swat you. My condolences, boss. Uh, 
I know this is a tough pill to swallow, Jackie. But she's home now, right? Buried here with the rest of your family. It's a shame Jenny wasn't buried here too, you know. She was family to you. I'm sorry she's gone. She's always with me. Jackie, I know what a terrible burden you carry, but carrying that burden is what made you strong. What'll get you through this? I want you to know I think you... That's one tough old lady, Jackie. How many times do I have to shoot her before she surrenders? Who's up? 
Beast on whose flesh! 
just a vessel for the darkness, Estacado. You're a flesh-covered suitcase. No, a temporary... No, no. Let's cut his tongue out! Finish! Go ahead! Kill me! <laughs> you know you want to. This is my reward. I welcome this suffering in the name of the yes, Brotherhood. Yes, so <laughs> Where's your boss hiding? What makes you think he's hiding, huh? Hiding from weakness like you? <laughs> he's at Hellgate. Oh, oh that that sounds Hellgate, good. don't you, Jackie? So many fond memories there, huh? <laughs> Come pay us a visit. <laughs> We're waiting for you. Hellgate, huh? Thanks for the help, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> First time you kill a man, you come to a crossroads. You learn something about yourself. You don't learn what you're capable of or how bad a person you are or any of that bullshit. You learn you can sleep at night after, or you learn you can't. You're either haunted, or you're not. I was 16 years old the first time I killed a man. And I slept like a baby every night since. Everything okay, boss? 